Today, welcome my friends to Need for Speed Heat. We are back with a brand new car. I mean, not this one. We're off to get it. I, we're gonna, I missed the bloody corner. We're off to get <laughs> the brand new machine. Now this technically is, uh, it's not really a car that was added to the game as such or like majorly changed like the other ones. I mean, actually that's kind of a lie. It, it, it's already in the game. I, I am going to show you, all right? That's just the best way. Boom, this beautiful, <clears throat> Challenger. So here's the thing. I am definitely 100% going to get this wrong at least one point in this video because the car says Challenger. Charger. I don't know why because it's very clear which is which. I know the wheels ignore it. I'm a fix. Don't. But this, you may notice, was actually already in the game. We just weren't able to do anything to it because it was a police car. That's right. This Charger is about to be bought and modify now it doesn't particularly have its proper engine oh my god why does it look so big why does it look so massive this the camera i think because it's a complete replacement car everything is gonna be a little bit off with this car let's just jump to this view that's much better <laughs> now we got some oreos for wheels which is kind of ridiculous we are playing hard plus by the way so there's going to be some sort of changes in the game that you may notice but this thing feels like a slow boat. It understeers like a pig. <laughs> and so we will show you what we can do. Basically, all the police bits have been removed from this car and it is a challenger. It's going to keep saying challenger until I reload the game without this mod that I've done myself. I, I say myself, I used a guide. <laughs> it is possible to do it in the base game, but I thought I would do it in this. And of course, we don't have the bloody ultimate plus parts because it's hard plus. Why do I do this to myself? Now, we do have... 11 engines we can go for we can swap in a v10 if we want to or a v6 or various other engines i kind of want to keep the engine that's in it because that just it makes the most sense now don't you worry friends it's not going to stick like this because i know it annoys a lot of people it annoys me as well if we put on aftermarket wheels for example the nismo lmgt4s very nice wheels uh yeah it just <laughs> it fixes the wheels which it was a problem even on the old need for speed games when we started playing with the cars and messing with i've made it even cooler oh my goodness holy poo -poo. look at this i love that it's invisible reams i wonder if it's going to stay like that if we leave it that is pretty sick so if we go for the front bumpers absolutely nothing changes none of the visual mods are going to do anything i told a lie Apparently, we can get slightly poked wheels if we do that, which I may have to do because as soon as we could do something stupid like that, I kind of tend to do it. So normally, as I say, it has the police lights and bumper bars and stuff like that on it. That's all been removed and was demonstrated now. There's absolutely nothing, but we can do the stance to holy low. And of course, we can just do the track width like this, but we could get even wider track width if we wanted to. Unfortunately, it's not. Not really great fitment on this car, but it is normally just a police mobile. Oh, so we're going to get liveries from the Challenger. That's pretty odd, isn't it? That's pretty odd indeed. Why does that livery work so well? I mean, it's still Le Dodge, obviously. That's probably why it makes the most sense. This is awesome. So we can put a police livery on it. Some of them aren't going to fit properly at all. It, it, honestly, <laughs> that's not too bad. There we go. I made the fitment a little bit spicier by putting stretch tires on and to be honest with you i'm gonna say that it looked better without the stretch and of course we are going to clip but we're just we're just gonna deal with it we're just gonna deal with the clipping let's get it holy meat this thing is gonna be absolutely awesome to drive so of course there's hardly really anything we could do to this car modification wise but we can do a little bit of wrap livery this is already like so much nicer to drive than it was a second ago I, again this is just a challenger if you've got a challenger drive a challenger and it's gonna understeer like a damn pig <laughs> but of course i want to do a little bit of a race with this machine just to see what it's like and of course i wonder can we actually do any damage to this car because of course it's not quite in the normal mod it's not even the normal game and therefore it should be i shouldn't be driving this machine but i am because why not see this is an odd one because why wouldn't this car be in the game as it is it makes no sense so with Need for Speed Heat, you could clearly see that they were adding a lot of cars and just removing the roof as an option. So make it two options, two cars. They had this as a police car and we couldn't get it. Let's ruin that again. Oh, crunch me fender. So why? I don't know. 
They could have just made some modification bits for it, and it could have even had the police bits if you come. That Lamborghini sounded so good. We still need to drive. Why is it so beefy? We need to try it. This thing really handles like absolute crap. I'm not even telling you a lie. Come on, big old America. You can clearly see it's just odd. It's not making much sense. The game's looking beautiful, by the way, isn't it? Wouldn't you agree? I think so too. But it's not sure what it wants to do. It doesn't know if it wants to grip or slide. It's kind of... It's kind of crap. It's, <laughs> it's really not going well. But once you get into a straight line, it's not too shabby. Like, I'm not going to sit here and say, like, it's rubbish all the time. But is that really how the Challenger drives? Cut nah. Nah, there's got to be a better way. Look at the understeer. And it's not even that bad of a deal. Like, if it just did that all the time, that would be fine. But it doesn't. It does oversteer too. Like, you need to make your damn... What? Which one do you want to do? It does look very... Come on! It does look very cool. I need to live tuning. More sensitivity, less downforce. I need pure power, pure speed, pure beans. Come on, get a corner right. It's still doing it. These track tires need to come off. Holy crap. <laughs> but this and the Crown Vic. What? Why? We had the Crown Vic in the previous game. In fact, we only had the police car. Did we have the actual graphic? I don't think... No, we had just the police car, which was given to us by doing one of those special hunty events. I don't even know what they're called. To be honest. The, time, the timed event. And why why, why was it not... It, it, there's so many things in where Ghost is it's very confusing. For example, the Polestar wasn't accessible at launch. Can you imagine if they got closed as soon as they released the game? Like, would we have actually been able to get that car without mods? Like, we would have needed mods to get the Polestar, which is the damn cover car. Come on, please, man. Please. With a couple of mods, handling tweakage available, visual tweakage available, this would be incredible to have. We need more muscle cars. I'm going to be sitting here and say that there's not enough love for the muscle cars in Need for Speed. We, we normally get, you know, a couple, but they're all outdated and all. They don't bother updating them. Of course, we can... Oh, you can mod them, though, Theo. Yes, I like that a lot. I prefer to have a lower models, but, you know, the newer ones, too, would also be nice. I'd like to have both, because a lot of the parts will just fit on both. They don't give enough love to the muscle. There's so many people that I know would love to drive this car in the game. This and any other modern muscle. Mate, have you seen Dodge people on Twitter? They be crazy. Absolutely mental. And a perfect fit for Need for Speed. I didn't realize how long this event was. Or is it because my car is handling like boop boop? You know what? I think this is a handbrake car. I, there's hardly any handbrake cars left in Need for Speed. Oh my god, it's, I, was, I still can't get it to go. What is in this tank? Let's try the brake. Oh, mate, we did we did the brake, the handbrake, and the double clutch all in one. That's how you get this thing to turn. Unfortunately, you have to lose all power on the corners to put it into a slide. But it looks great. It might drive like poo-poo, but it looks fantastic. I got 300,000 for that event. I got 300,000. That is ridiculous. I didn't, I didn't need that much money. I really didn't need that much money. Anyway, I want to see more of this. I want to do more of this. Do you want me to cover more? I say more. There's like two or three more cars that are available in the game that we haven't had access to. Do you want me to cover those? Because if so, I will. You know, it's a really quick car in a straight line. This is... Okay. It was, it was going quite well. <laughs> Top speed wise, it's kind of bugging down just I say just a little bit quite ridiculously again ghost it's a muscle it should be flying it should still be gaining speed I should be going three million miles an hour apparently let me know your thoughts what muscle cars should they add to the game I'm gonna say muscle cars only what muscle cars should they be adding to the next need for speed criterion you got some fixing to do because 
We're in Florida for crying out loud. And there's not even this. You can't drive this. What bogus America, Florida are we in? Disgraceful. Be sure to smash that like button, subscribe if you are new, and come back anytime for some more Need for Speed Heat. Until next time, peace.